that spring has, uh, well, sprung, you really don't want a very heavy foundation on your face, particularly not if it actually makes your masks look like this. That actually did happen to mine. You can see the foundation transfer there. Horrendous, which means that I cannot use this mask a second time. I mean, these you can apparently use about three or four times, but you know, with this kind of foundation in there, horrendous, and I really don't want to be wasting masks at uh, this time. So I want a lightweight, very light tinted moisturizer kind of product and kind enough to send me one PR sample, sent for review, complimentary, gifted, not bought by myself, came in the influenced uh, box. The Love Your Skin box box is the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation, 25 mils of product in here, and it says this is what uh, the product card looks like. I mean, I did get a Vidya Lumi Layer Primer, a Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm, an Exuvian's Performance Peel Sample, all of these, a Triple Microdermabrasion Face Polish, also from Exuvian's, and a Clarins Double Zium, all samples. This one, full-sized. Uh, tinted cover is Korean skincare technology with 18 natural extracts to balance and tint skin pigments that smooth and blend. So Nude Stick says that this is a natural finish foundation formulated as an innovative Korean skincare formula with tinted pigments that even and brighten skin tone. The coverage is light, obviously. I am not expecting full coverage from this one. The finish is meant to be natural, uh, which I think is dewy, means dewy. Unfortunately, dewy is greasy on me, we'll see. Um, the formula is obviously liquid and this is supposed to suit normal, dry combination and oily skin tones. There are 15 shades. Uh, one thing I don't adore is that there are six very pale shades, two very deep shades and the rest are medium. I, I feel that there should have been more, maybe a couple more deeper, very deep options. Um, cost $35, 32 pounds. This formula has a water resistant barrier that allows for long wear and helps improve skin hydration. It is free of parabens and contains less than 1% synthetic fragrances. It is vegan, cruelty free and gluten free. The last one is what is most important to me because I am allergic to wheat. Now the shade that I picked is shade six, nude six. Um, when I saw this, I was actually quite worried because that looks a bit different from my skin tone, but you know, it doesn't look like that inside, I promise. I know you're seeing that and thinking there is no way that is going to suit her. Don't worry. Uh, number six is described as medium neutral warm. And number five is neutral medium or medium neutral. So while this contains titanium dioxide and iron oxides, uh, the titanium dioxide here is more of a pigment. It, there is no sunscreen, no SPF in here. That's one thing that I don't... But you know, the other thing is... SPF in a foundation or a moisturizer or a tinted or you know a BB cream or a CC cream that is not enough you need a separate sunscreen people uh, because the tinted moisturizer or foundation or whatever the, the quantity of the filter that the, the SPF in there is not going to be enough to provide adequate coverage or protection from the sun you will need gargantuan amounts of the foundation or, or the moisturizer for optimum coverage whereas you know a proper dedicated SPF, you only need normal amounts for a decent coverage. So the, the sun protection factor, the SPF number that you see in foundations, in um, tinted moisturizers, BB creams, not enough. Maybe for reapplication, that's it. So packaging, now according to nude sticks, this should come in 20 mils, but I've actually got, my tube says 25 mils, hey, that's all right, which is not quite a whole ounce, it is 0.84 ounce and it comes in this tube with a metal cap but inside the tube you have a pump mechanism which I like now the tube doesn't feel very full if you know what I mean you feel that there's only so much product in there but you know I suppose there is 25 mils in there otherwise they wouldn't say that and this is made in Korea now, formula-wise, the ingredients include tea tree extract, eucalyptus extract, rosemary extract, uh, camellia extract, grapefruit extract, chestnut extract, coffee seed extract. That, I suppose, will help reduce puffiness. So, 18 different botanical extracts, as they promised, uh, and lavender oil, but I cannot smell any lavender at all. Now, let's swatch this. Yeah, can't smell a thing. Maybe it's me. I don't know. 
dot is a color on me that's just and that like this again that's a color on me and that completely so you can see that this is very thin and light and sheer right very thin and light and sheer see that is the whole thing blended out so I wouldn't call this a foundation, actually. I'd call this more of a tinted cover moisturizer, tinted cover cream or something. Because, you know, for me, a foundation has to offer more coverage. But let's see how it does on my skin. Um, I have, at the moment, flaky skin. I'm, my skin is recovering from subsession for acne scar revision. I have pitted up these scars. Um, so I've been using tretinoin, prescription tretinoin, no less. So there is some flaking around the jawline. And I have hyperpigmentation from the subsession where the needles were inserted. Subsession is where they insert a needle and cut off the fibers tethering the scar, uh, right? That, that causes the pit, the fibers that uh, are responsible for the pit there or for the depression in your, or the dent in your skin. So they cut those um, fibers and while they give you numbing cream I really don't think it makes any difference you practically scream in pain and subsession yeah so my skin's recovering from that there is hyperpigmentation as you will see and there are some pitted acne scars as you will see it's my first subsession people you can't expect miracles in the first session um, maybe in about four or five sessions I will be seeing very good results according to my dermatologist Anyway, this isn't about subsession. Separate video coming up once I manage, if I ever manage to get rid of acne scars to some extent, on all of those procedures. Now, demo of this on me. Warning, my skin is not perfect, people. So, as you can see, there was some hyperpigmentation um, from my last subsession, that is acne scar revision. And you know that I have pitted acne scars. Now, I'm going to prime my face using the VGL Lumilea Primer, which also came in the same influencer box. And that is white in colour, so I'm just going to lightly dot that. And spread with a brush. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Optical Blurring Brush for this. It's actually got better coverage than I expected. And the finish is very dewy. Forehead, I'm going to go do off camera because there is no earthly way I'm going to be able to hold up the mirror and my fringe and apply this foundation. So I'm going to do the rest of this close to the camera so you can see the difference in texture there. So the finish, as you can see, is very, very dewy, very glowing and dewy. And it's incredibly lightweight. It, you know, doesn't look, it doesn't feel like I've applied anything at all. So the hyperpigmentation is fairly well hidden. The pitted acne scars obviously are still there. So I actually like this much better than the Each Cosmetics original CC uh, Plus cream, the original Your Skin but Plus, uh, but better. Uh, the matte oil-free finish is thicker coverage than this and is less greasy. So I think I like the CC Plus matte oil-free, the green tube, better than this one. That looks like this. So and my shade is medium tan. However, this one is a proper foundation. It is, although it's SCC cream, it's not very lightweight. It is, you know, in my book, foundation-y for want of a better term. So I'll go do the rest of my face and be back. And I'm also going to apply some setting powder because um, it's very glowy. And over the day, it's only going to get glowier and glowier or, you know, dewier or greasier. So coverage, as you can see, is definitely not full. I was not expecting full coverage. I was expecting sheer coverage. But I feel that coverage is better than I expected. I think I did a fairly good job. And I think this is exactly what I need for warmer weather, lightweight, you know, not heavy, found thick foundation. I think the coverage is decent enough you know my skin didn't look half bad with it um the only thing is there is some dewiness 
on our skin, which translates as greasiness on my skin. So I will need a setting powder, translucent powder. Laura Mercier is my powder of choice. And I will show you what it looks like after setting powder. So with setting powder, it does a very, it's, the only thing is it becomes thicker coverage, obviously, when you have setting powder there. But if you go in for a lightweight translucent powder, such as Laura Mercier's translucent powder, there is no problem. But if you go in for a tinted one, such as Shiseido's, you know, or, you know, a matte compact or pressed powder compact, then coverage becomes near full. Yeah, that's with the setting powder on and here you can see that coverage is near full so all you need is setting powder on top if you want full coverage if you are blessed with normal skin or even dry skin this is not going to make you greasy at all you won't need setting powder unless you know you want setting powder um if you want to make this near full coverage all you do is add setting powder on top so the thing is while i love my full coverage uh, during warmer weather, I hate it because it makes my face cakey, you know, the humidity and the sweating and the, the increased oiliness uh, make for a very grotesque effect with thicker foundations. This one will not. There is greasing up some, yes, definitely. However, nothing that, you know, blotting paper or a setting powder will not solve. At the same time, keeping the finish lightweight and not at all heavy. Best of all, there is no transfer on my mask. Come on, let me try that on the tissue. Right, there's lipstick um, on the other side, but yeah. Laura Mercier's translucent powder on top, but you can see tissue clear, no transfer, unlike what happened to my mask. So lightweight coverage, no transfer, very light finish, um, at the same time buildable, and at the same time heavier coverage or uh, more opaque coverage with setting powder. Um, ideal for the summer, no transfer, not on your mask, not on tissue paper. Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. PR Sample sent to me for review, full confession. Wasn't expecting to like it. Was quite ready to say incredibly greasy. I can't use this at all, but I find that with uh, translucent powder on top, it is definitely workable, as you can see has happened in here. So what kind of coverage do you like in warmer weather? Do you like full cover foundations? Do you still persist? Or do you make your foundation lightweight? Do you use a BB cream, CC cream, tinted moisturizer? Or what product is it? Do tell me that in the comments below. What are your thoughts on tinted products or BB creams in general? Or lighter coverage in general? I'd love to know. Those are my honest thoughts on the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. Where to buy? I will link in the description box below. Confession affiliate link or disclosure affiliate link. Use of your, uh, your use of the affiliate link um, at no extra cost to you. May earn me a very, very, very tiny commission. Not even enough for a cup of coffee, believe me. Uh, not that I drink coffee. I'm a tea person. Not even for a cup of tea, believe me. And uh, should ideally help her keep this channel running, which it doesn't. So those are my thoughts on the new Stick Tinted Cover Foundation. This will probably, because there is only so much product inside, be empty after the summer this year. So stay tuned for and uh, the, this to show up in my empties in September or maybe October. September or October. Look out for that, yeah? Um, on the other hand, if I don't go out much, if the situation worsens and we're all stuck at home, I obviously won't be wearing any kind of makeup at all. So, yeah, then it won't finish. But, you know, if I am going out, this will be in my empty space around October or so. Stay tuned for that. So, that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. I'll speak to you soon.